Hello again, everybody. Les East, Eric Brian Coleman. Alley Walsh with NewOrleans.com. Oh, it's uh, Monday. Is that correct? Yeah, Monday. Mm -hmm. Here we are, four days before the next exhibition game Coleman. against San Diego. And Les, they worked indoors today. It's uh, They're in a uh, regular season mode mm -hmm. right now. We were limited in our ability to see this club for about 30 minutes. We really didn't see any team action at all. Basically, we saw them stretch and do some uh, individual drills and some group drills, but uh, really, is, that's that's what we're limited to from here on out. So, uh, any any news that we get is is generally going to be run through the team. Uh, but uh, from an injury standpoint, can you bring us up to date? Who's back out on, on the field, Les? Well, the two guys who returned to the field today were uh, Usama Young, who's been sidelined since the New England preseason game with a groin don't know how much he practiced because as you said we didn't see much other than stretching but he was out there uh, John Stinchcomb who strained a shoulder against the Texans last week the second practice against the Texans he was out there uh, took part in on a very limited basis I talked to him after practice and uh, he's um, hopeful that he would be able to play Friday but didn't sound optimistic that he would and there's certainly no reason to write him back so I would say he's probably doubtful for uh, Friday night at this point so those two guys were back out there the four who did not participate at all were the two guys on the pup list Darren Sharper and uh, Clint Ingram and then the two guys with the uh, high ankle sprain Stanley Ardu and Jimmy Graham and so the big news coming out of camp today of course is uh, a, a guy that looked like he was gonna make this club PJ Hill uh, ended up tearing his uh, triceps I believe in his right arm and uh, will be placed on IR and I don't know if surgery is needed to repair this or not but he certainly will be gone they did they did sign uh, a four-year back by the name of Deshaun Wynn out of Green Bay by way of Florida uh, they signed him today and uh, I'm sure that uh, that he'll get a decent look in the next couple of games and certainly uh, he's a consideration but I think that they've got the big picture is that if they want to get Liddell Betts back healthy again and that, that you know when they finally get to their 53 hopefully Liddell Betts will be healthy enough to be on that 53 along with uh, Chris Ivory I said I guess you can just say Chris congratulations you've made this team mm -hmm. yeah we've talked so much about the running back position because that's probably been the most fluid position because of the injuries and such it looks like Chris Ivory now gets that third spot on the team we talked before about how they want a veteran running back to be in the mix as well Liddell Betts is supposed to be that guy has not really been able to do much because of the knee that he had surgically repaired in November so you know, we'll see what happens with him. If he is not able to get back on the field soon, perhaps they look for somebody else. We'll see if um, if Wynn can play at all. But you're right, I think Chris Ivory is now going to be on the open day roster. And as far as uh, they, they will practice again tomorrow and Wednesday, Thursday will be uh, your normal walkthrough on a Saturday type format. And then, of course, the Friday night game in prime time against the Chargers on CBS. And, uh, you know, it's going to be an emotional weekend. It's the weekend of Katrina. Everybody's going to be celebrating, or at least not celebrating, but everybody's going to be honoring that five-year anniversary of that tragic uh, nat nat natural catastrophe. Uh, you know, uh, so it's going to be an emotional week, a weekend. Uh, uh, but, the, but the game will be played seven o'clock Friday night. And as far as who's going to play, you know, we can probably guesstimate at this point. Sean Payton has not addressed that issue yet. But look for your regulars to play the. The, the better part of a half and maybe into the third quarter and uh, you know this is their kind of their final dress rehearsal for the regular season uh, and I think that's the way we can all approach this but uh, other than that Les uh, you and I will see each other tomorrow and for any further updates on uh, NewOrleans.com please stay tuned to our website for Les East Brian Alley Walsh we'll see you again next time Goodbye again everybody